continue with adding our settings here. All right, so let me go back to uh, profile content settings.php. This is the page with the settings. So I think I should even reduce this to 350 or something. Something like that. Um, okay, actually, I remember the placeholder for password is actually required as well. Let me control D and duplicate this and say password. So that in case there's no text there, they can still see a placeholder. All right, so I'm searching for what's on your mind, which is not here because it's inside this other default file. All right, so what I want is just to copy the the form here so I can replicate this in the settings okay so I'm going to paste it at the top here before the PHP tags like so okay so I'll remove everything except the submit button I need that so I'm going to cut that and put it down here paste okay so I'm going to put single quotes outside like so and then I need the form so I'm going to cut the form and put it right above the div like so and then I'm going to shift uh, the rest I can remove and then I'll shift everything over. Yeah. Okay. So far, uh, so good. Now I need a text area down here for about section. Okay. So let me do an echo. And then I'm going to say about me. And then put a break tag and then I can add an input here of text area so text area text area again all right so the name of this one is going to be about Hmm. And the value of it is going to be in between these two, and then it's going to be about just like that. And I'm going to put a break tag at the beginning of this one as well. All right, so that should do it. About me. Okay, let me add a um, ID of text box as well on this text area so that uh, it gets the same styles. The only thing I might need to change is the height. So there we go. So it's too short. So let me add a style. Height 200 pixels. Let's try that and there we go so about me and then instead of post it's going to be save all right so the design of it is done uh, when the user comes here and hits save it's supposed to uh, please type something to post so at this point it's thinking we're trying to post to use a post and that's why it's doing this so we need to find a way to make it know that what we are doing here is not 
what it's thinking about. So we can just check to see if things like first name is set, then we know that these are settings, okay? So let's go to the profile.php at the very top here when something is posted. So we have to put an if statement at the top here. So what I will do is put an if statement and I'm going to say if, oh, sorry, if is set post first name, uh, then we do something else. And then down here else, else we know it's a post. So let me push those in there and then move them over like that. Okay. So let's test to see if we're going to get that error again, save and there is no error. Okay, good. So now that we are, we can save here, what we will do is simply say settings class. So we're going to move all this saving activity into the class. Saving class, settings class, sorry, <laughs> is equal to new capital settings like so, open and close. And then settings class, let me copy that. Save settings. And then what do we give it? We give it the post variable. As simple as that. And that's it. So we go to our settings class here and we're going to create this uh, public function. What did we name it? Save settings. Okay, so we're going to say save settings. And that's it. This one we're going to name it data or data. Uh -huh. All right, so there are a few things we need to check for here. Now, it's important when we come back here to avoid uh, being hacked in the settings here. As usual, these things we have to use the HTML special chars. So do not forget that. So let me let me select all these guys where the settings is used there and then I'll take a step back do that oh yes do that point and then go to the very end oh actually right at the beginning here I'm going to say let me move a step back HTML special chars okay delete delete like that Okay, so now we are coming to the, because I have to put special chars, this whole thing. So let me try and get grab these guys. Okay. Oh, it seems some of these didn't have, uh... okay, the idea is that I need a closing bracket here. Actually, what I yeah, I need a closing bracket and a dot there. Same thing here, like that. But something seems to be wrong. All right, so I need uh, inverted commas in there as well. Still, something doesn't seem right. Oh, forgot. I needed that. Okay that as well so I'm just going to copy how this looks like here so that I can uh, simply paste it where I want to okay so HTML special chars is to convert any special uh, characters into HTML friendly characters so let me paste here and like that 
accept okay so far so good let me paste here and do the same there Boop. and there as well and there as well uh -huh. okay so i think uh, everything is good so let's try and refresh this recent oops mail has something there there's some uh, inverted commas that are hanging around which are not supposed to be there so like on options here i didn't need it where else in the in the text area as well i didn't need it okay let me save recent all right so we are good to go now let's go to the save part here okay so now we get our data here and so all we have to do is uh overwrite uh the data we have here with the other one so what we're going to do first of all is get the password because the in case the password has changed we might need to de um, we may need to encrypt it so password is equal to data password okay now we must ask ourselves because we know the encrypted version is 40 characters long so we say if password now what i want to do here is say count if count oh not count actually string length like so that's the formula that's the function that can tell me how long a string is so the expression is supposed to be if the string length is greater than 30 so i'll take a wild guess and say that's the encrypted version but let's say it's less than so let's put less than so if it's less than that then I'll, I'll think okay somebody has actually added a password so what i will do is i will say password uh data password actually so i'm going to replace what's in there with the encrypted version is equal to hash the algorithm is sha1 and then the data is password all right so all we are doing here is checking is it long is it long enough to be encrypted then good leave it alone if it's not then encrypt it okay then the rest of the data can be uh, saved into the database and replaced okay so there's a data password and there's a password two let me come back here this one should be named password two so that they must type similar passwords in order for the thing to accept so once this is done even before we hash it what we are supposed to do is check for password two so what i will do is copy this and put an if statement and say if data password is equal to data password two so if those two are equal that's when we will encrypt the data okay now if the length is uh, shorter we don't want to okay we can still replace it here so if these are not the same then we should remove the password from the list of things to be saved so that we don't overwrite a good password so what we are going to say is unset 
data password okay however by the time we get here we are supposed to be able to unset password 2 as well remove it from the list and set password 2 all right so we've removed the password password 2 has been removed and then it means the rest of the data that has remained we can simply tell it to save everything that has remained with whatever value 